footage you see from him tonight. And um, obviously, we saw some of it against New England a couple of weeks ago. But your, your thoughts on uh, Texas precision? Yeah, he just brings a lot of energy to the group. I think he sets a good example of just making the correct play. Like he constantly helps take pressure off of us with regards to just keeping the ball, moving to the right space, playing the correct ball. And, and then obviously the, the finishing is, is fantastic. So, um, but pretty complete effort overall from, from everybody. So really happy to put up a zero especially given the mistakes we made last game. And I really thought it was from the front all the way back. I thought we made a few mistakes early on in the game and, and we're actually a little conservative. I didn't feel like we were shifting and that was letting them get on the ball a little bit more than they needed to. And once we started doing it correctly, then I thought we started to do what we kind of planned on doing. We wanted to get them off the ball and take the ball off them in higher spots. We created a lot of corners this time, which shows we we're putting pressure on them. So um, pr pretty happy overall. Thank you. Um, I wanted to first ask you, speaking of what you're saying, winning the ball higher for field, it seemed like even late into the game, we were still keeping that uh, pressing posture going. Um, how much has that been an element that you guys been working on, given that I know sometimes when you've dropped off, it hasn't been as good as when you Right, right. Yeah, it, essentially, that was kind of why we were making subs in the 70th minute mark, because I didn't feel like Julian and Brad were, were getting out. And I felt like our center backs were essentially three of them were marking one guy. And so again, we weren't shifting. And so that guy was afraid to get out. They weren't releasing them. And I, I feel like it was just a mentality thing. And when we made the subs, all of a sudden they did it. They pushed higher with a little more energy and we just didn't let them out of their end then. So, you know, it's a good lesson for us in terms of you want to sit because you feel like it's going to be less running when in actuality, if you just do it the right way, it's going to save you a lot of running. And then there's a, a second one, just with um, Bill, it looked like you could see blood on his side on, on the screen, um, but then he came back out at least for a while. Um, what happened with the process of sorting the injury? Just, he, I don't know how many stitches. He took six, seven stitches, so I was watching him get stiff, stitched up. You know, you just don't know how a guy's going to feel. And, and so I, I told him, if I see anything that looks off, like we're going to pull you out and immediately he took a hit and just grabbing his back. So it just didn't want to mess with it. I, I took the, basically the ball out of his court. He wanted to stay, but I think it was a prudent thing to do. And, and Rafa came in and, and did very well. There's no, no muscle issue. No muscle issue. It was just a cut. It was just a cut. But obviously then when you're putting stitches in there, you're numbing it up. So what your feel, foot feel like, you don't feel the ball. Like it, it just makes things really awkward, especially for a keeper. And, you just didn't want to take any chances. Um, what were your thoughts on just the overall defensive shape of the game, especially after the Bills injury? You mentioned a little bit how you guys wanted to stretch out a little bit more in the second half, but overall to get the clean sheet, like what are your thoughts on the overall defensive shape? Just much better. We just didn't turn off the way we turned off in Columbus. We were focused the entire time. I thought our mentality was good. Uh, again, other than a couple stretches of just uh, not being aggressive enough, but every, everybody worked their tail off. Um, I, I think everybody wanted to keep the zero really bad. And I thought that showed. So um, we can, you know, continue to do a lot of things better. We can, we could have got the third goal and, and made it a little more comfortable, be a little bit cleaner, take a breath in transition moments to execute a little bit better. But yeah, overall to, to keep a zero on the defensive side is, is a really big deal for our group. Other questions? Go ahead. Uh, Nicholas Doyle from the University of Maryland. This is the first time you guys have defeated uh, Dynamo since 2014. Can you speak about what that means for your locker room and going forward? You know, and I'm not sure anybody in the locker room would, would know that, um, but it's it's a win, you know, and, and basically in this league, you, you just got to reel off wins as much as you can. And it's one at a time. And that's kind of been our mentality is, hey, let's go out there and put one performance on the field. And it doesn't matter who it's against. It doesn't matter what the history is. It just matters that we walk away with three points. And 
I think every time we pick up three points, it's a confidence booster for us, but to do it the right way is, is also basically breeding the mentality that, that we want to see week in week out. But uh, I mean, Houston, I know in the past is anytime we've gone there, it's a super difficult place to play. So, and, and we probably haven't played them in, in a little while as well, but uh, I think they have a very good group, um, super skillful and super fast up top. Um, so again, it, it, to get a win against anybody in this league is difficult and you, you treasure it every, every time you walk away with three points.